hi everyone welcome back to my channel if you are old here thanks if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a short flyer using photoshop so let's get started here i'm using 4 by 4 inches then leave the resolution at 300 then you create These are the resources I'm going to use in this tutorial. Then scale this background. Then move it up. Leave it this way. Apply Gaussian Blur. Then input this number. Then you click OK. Then also bring this one. Position it over here. And I'm going to turn it off for now. Then I'm going to copy this color code. Go to your solid color. Then Ctrl V to paste. Now turn on this one. I'm going to use soft light. Then also turn this one on. Then change it to screen. Reduce the opacity to 6. Then apply your layer mask. Then you blend the top here. Also blend here. Alright. Scale it out a bit. Then come over here. You bring this background. Position it over here, then you scale it out. Then use linear dodge. And reduce the opacity to 12. Okay. Then blend over this area. Then bring this image. Take it over here. Then apply screen. Then go to your Gaussian blow. Then you leave it at this point. It's okay for now. If there is any change, it will come back. Then the opacity at 11. Apply your layer mask. Then you blend over this area. All right. Now, create a new layer. I'm going to use this brush. Reduce the size. Then you leave it like this. Now, bring this image. you take it over here and scale it out change the blending mode to screen then leave the opacity at 74 select your layer mask then you blend over here So okay, I will leave it like this. Then you group it. Right? Rename it as your background. Then 
then import this logo position it over this area then come to your test copy this test here Control V to paste. Then reduce the font size. Then make it semi bold. Then I'll position it over here. Open the character space a bit. The space is okay then you reduce it all right apply vertical alignment to centralize it it's okay like this all right Now duplicate it, Ctrl J. Then copy this test here. Then come over here to paste. Then apply vertical alignment to centralize it. Then reduce the font size. Bring it down a little. Then Ctrl C to copy. Select your test to Ctrl V to paste. Come over again to copy. Then paste the color code you copy. I'm going to change the font to this font here. So I will leave all the font in the description. Then you copy again, Ctrl C. Select your text to Ctrl V to paste. Before then, I'm going to change the font. Then use this font here. Then change the color to white. Then you paste. Now take it over here. Then you scale it out. I think I will leave it this way. Then you bring the praise on top of it. Group the two together, then you rename it, All right, we are done with that. Okay. Then I'm going to apply a blending option. So here are the code I'm going to use in this tutorial. So take note. I will leave it in the description under the test so that you can make use of it. So you copy the code one by one, then apply it over here.
so this one is okay then i'll change this one then change the color to white then apply this color uh, i mean the numbers over here cross check all those numbers then and apply all those numbers So now we are done with the importance of numbers. Control V to paste. Then you scale it out. Then make it bold. All right, now bring this icon. Then position it over here. Then go to your saturation and hue, make it white so that it will change to white then select your test tool come over here to copy then control v to paste then change the font to hostily reduce the font size Change the font color to yellow. Then reduce it a bit. I will leave it this way. Then change the font, make it bold. Then you copy your text, Control V to paste. Then make the color white. Then you position it over here. Duplicate it, Ctrl J. Then select the two, then you move it up this way. Then you reduce the font size. All right. Then also bring this icon of time.
then position it over here then I'm going to group it together then go to image select your saturation and hue again make it white then you copy again select your test tool ctrl v to paste then increase the size for the nine then you position it over here make it more bigger small now I'm going to select the two and group it then bring it down a little bit scale it out then I think it will be best to centralize it now bring this icon for location all right then come over here to copy your location select your test tool then ctrl v to paste change the font color to black then you reduce it now i'm going to open the character spacing then also open the space All right. So you soak it like this. So the next thing you bring this light flare. Then hold your shift key. Then you drag it down. All right. Then apply screen. Position it over here, select it, go to your Gaussian blur, then apply blur, reduce the number, it's okay this way, then apply a layer mask, select your gradient tools, you blend over this area. Alright, I'm going to adjust this light over here. Apply 13.1, it's okay. Alright, so we are done with this one. So the next thing now, hold your shift key plus control key plus alt key then press e on your keyboard 
then you see the, oh, this is what you have then go to your camera raw then change all this parameter the temperature the tent so the one that you need to touch then you change it after you change it then you click on ok so this is how it come thank you so much for watching please like subscribe and share